Hello my dear friends and welcome again to Adventure Story Channel videos. Today my dear friends we will make one session together and we will see uh, some of uh, the parts of the engine we will make or hauling together. Hope you like this kind of videos. So I have entered the simulator and quickly on we will pick up where we have uh, stopped before and we will do our overhauling. Thank you my dear friends that you subscribe to the channel and also thank you my dear friends that uh, you're always here on the channel. So let's quickly start together. We have seen a lot of items of the engine and we have uh, now a different uh, view of these parts and of these sections and today we will go to check our thrust bearing overhauling first of all I will see this quick demo I read this on the demo demonstration and as I have told most of these parts uh, we have not overhauled but maybe in the future there will be some kind of needs to do that uh, things. As you can see, there is a removable uh, pipe here, this U pipe, which will be detached and as it calls C type of oil pipe or U type. So next we remove also the next flanges. The approach there, it's uh, really, really quite difficult because the space also is limited and also it's very, very slippery there. So whatever you are doing and whatever you dismantle also must be with really, really care to not fall down somewhere and lost. As you can see, all the pipings here remove. This is also uh, our chain here located. And on this type of engines, the chain uh, will be driven by the crankshaft and transfer uh, the power and through the, the chain, this transmission will be transferred to the hydraulic pumps, which we need to keep uh, pressure on our system for the actuating of our valves and also for the actuating of the fuel uh, booster pump so thrust block uh, on the top removed and now we will see what else we will remove so here there is some special tools bolted so as we have seen here uh, there is some eye bolts also inserted inside some special tools so one of the segments as I have seen the first uh, thrust block has been removed so now as we can see there is turning of the engine and the blocks are uh, raised. So if I understand properly, these tools, this tool that was set on the gear was to keep the segments and push them uh, on the top. As we can see, they are going by hand the segments. And again, turning for the fourth thrust block to be removed. The main purpose of these thrust blo blocks is to absorb any kind of lift that is created from the thrust created due to propeller uh, forces. As we know, we have our ship always have the tendency to going forward. We are traveling ahead and thus uh, our thrust blocks also will have 
a bigger uh, deterioration on the side of the engine which is going to the uh, aft so these segments and these thrust uh, blocks will absorb also the movement of the vessel and the forces that create it and have the tendency to push all the crankshaft this is a, a thing that we need to avoid and that's why we use this kind of thrust bearings uh, there is a lot of thrust bearings uh, in the machineries and they must be installed for the reason that uh, really really uh, through the rotation and through the powers that created there is a lot of thrust transfer and if we do not absorb this kind of uh, power we will have for sure uh, another problem we will have problems on the bearing we will have a quick uh, bearing uh, damages in general and also uh, there will be damages in the structure of the engine itself so let's move on and let's remove so i will start quickly to pick up my panels here so let's go inside let's travel to our engine also a very very good opportunity to check also all the items of the chain and also as i have shown you before we have seen also uh, the measurement i have seen show you also in the community tab how the measurement take place uh, with pictures and all that stuff so we will start from our piping somewhere here Okay, for sure we will need to remove our piping for now, for the moment. Select the tool, the tool to the spanner. And also my dear friends, remember that uh, your spanners must be in a really, really good condition because it really, really uh, matters that thing. A lot of damages can avoid also to your body from the slippery of the tools. And I have seen a lack of tool handling and uh, proper storage uh, through the time that I was on board the vessels. I have seen a lot of things, uh, a lot of people believe that the tools that you are working are not such important, uh, but really, really, it's really important that thing so let's go here let's see our next uh, place for removal okay now we can remove our piping also here also here these bolts and really my dear friends uh, as the ship's life passing uh, through the time uh, there is uh, some kind of things that uh, must be improved through the time and all the departments that passing there and all the people that passing uh, through the vessel must make something because uh, everything uh, have a accumulation uh, let's say if there is proper and proper uh, storage this also everything will be accumulated there a lot of stuff a lot of dirty a lot of dust and we have seen also a lot of spares that uh, remain uh, in all condition and is keeping on board and uh, thus this one is making our uh, interaction with the spares much much difficult So if you have old spares, it's not necessary to keep them if they are in bad condition. Uh, and let's pick up 
our stoppers from here. So now our segments are free and now we can uh, attach this kind of tool here, one special tool. Okay. Really this kind of simulator, it's really, really nice to have on board and to make some kind of training. Also at home, if you have a free time, it will be really, really nice to try it and take a course here also. It will be really, really nice. Because we have this opportunity, I believe that we need as much as possible to make such items. And this also will improve our total view of the engine itself and a better understanding of what is going on. For sure, there will be differences of how to apply uh, the proper uh, techniques of overhauling. And let's see here if we can access to our next uh, thrust piece. So let's lift it off again. As you can see, all the segments are placed piece by piece, so they are replaceable, all of them. Let's pick up the other one. And the examination can be done. Uh, also a replacement if there is a limit exceeded. Always for all the jobs, uh, try to uh, reference uh, in the books inside. The books uh, will show you a lot of different uh, approach on the components itself and thus also uh, you will improve also your uh, skills of maintenance and overhaulings through the time. Sometimes, my dear friends, you will not understand really from the first, from the beginning uh, if you have never done this kind of job, but as you interact through the time, you will have a much, much better experience. And uh, this is how the interaction with the experience and the knowledge will be improved through the time. Always, it's necessary to give time to yourself. And this is one of the problems that uh, we have seen on board the vessel because uh, most of engineers like to learn as much as possible quickly, but it is impossible if you will not spend time. So we have complete our pickup of our thrust bearing disassembly of uh, our engine MAN BMW 7S80ME. And now, <coughs> sorry, my dear friends, we will go direct for the assembly procedure of thrust bearing. It's really, really nice to see the thrust bearing and the idea itself. I have seen many, many pictures and many, many designs, <coughs> sorry, in the manuals. But it's different to see the 3D model. It's really, really different. It's a, do not compare on any, any kind of uh, drawings that we can see. The 3D, it's 3D, my dear friends. Whatever we can do, this is our uh, best vision that we can have because you don't need to imagine in what plane it is, on what uh, axis it is, X or Y. Here directly you can see all the parts itself. And as we can see here also, what I will do first of all, <coughs> let's check where we stopped. And this is our last segment here okay and we will start from our last uh, segment so we will need to place also uh, our tool 
one moment. Okay. So we will play it by hand. Exactly how we left our engine, we will make it reverse. So our crankshaft, we will go in the reverse direction. So now we will need to turn our engine. All the parts will be examined for uh, the limits itself. And also we will see everything in the manual with you because also for me uh, this will be really really interesting to see how uh, what, what we have seen here and how uh, it will be compared with the manual it's really really nice to compare that thing because uh, this is one piece of the 3d and the manual also is another piece let's say 50 and 50 percent which will later accomplish our total vision of our overhauling. So as you can see, the segments is so designed. There is some grooves here on the design. As you can see, there is some cuts. So it's specially designed. So the oil will be trapped between there and will keep in the surface as much as possible longer for long time for prolonged time and thus the lubrication will be increased and the friction will be reduced as much as possible the main purpose of engine manufacturer is to reduce the frictions if we have a frictionless engine which is really really impossible also with the oil we have some kind of frictions uh, it will as much as possible also will increase the life of the engine itself and of the components also a very very big role plays how we use the engine if we are proper maintain the engine uh, if the load of the engine is proper and the engine is not overload by the time uh, this also plays a really really big role of the engine life itself so this is our last segment trans bearing segment that we have set inside so i will pick up the eye bolt and now we can secure with our thrust block limit plates so in some way they are trapped inside these thrust blocks and this is okay probably we need to turn a little bit okay so our tool will be here on the top and now we can set a let's remove our tool Okay, it's already removed and now we can set our limiting blocks. So this will keep the last positioning of our top thrust bearings and secure them in the position. So they are in position. Our bolts also will be bolted here and next on we will set our piping okay we will attach there always my dear friends be really really careful inside the engine because it's really really slippery and as much as possible try to avoid any fall down also if you like to use some kind of belt you can use it it will be an advance because the height 
uh, of these engines can exceed two meters or three meters and as we know uh, more than two meters it's really really dangerous the fall down mostly the fall down from the two meters is fatal that is true and here we don't have earth we don't have soil we have metal plates a thick metal which this kind of metals really really do not understand nothing they even will not bend so they believe that i will not get hidden or i will not uh, get a strike from something it's not real you must be always looking for your safety and as much as possible also improve the safety uh, through the time this is one of the reasons that uh, we should reject some of the points of uh, the working procedures always we must check uh, and not only check and apply them in real life because only talking about okay we are safe we are doing this we are doing that and only to show to the inspector that everything is fine it's not enough uh, and most of the things that we are doing for the safety we need first of all to understand that we are not doing this for the inspector or for the affords or for the company we are doing first of all for our uh, for ourselves for our lives and for uh, our crew So my dear friends, I hope you like also the live that uh, we have streamed about two days before. Hope that uh, we will make together with you more kind of these videos. So you get also in the point for asking and that will be really, really nice. So I will bring this pipe in the position. Okay, here we are. Placing it. Most of these bolts, uh, they will have also some lock wire. Because as we know, these kind of bolts uh, they are inside in the engine and also we have bearings we have a lot of uh, piping there and as as much as possible this kind of bolts will need a additional lock so my dear friends hope that you like this kind of video <coughs> sorry again next video will be with actual damper vibration and we have more details to speak about also please state your comments it will be really really nice to answer them don't forget to join the adventure story channel academy memberships there is a lot of memberships here uh, on the channel and also don't forget to check uh, the websites that i have created in the right corner of the main page there is a lot of material here in this channel don't forget to check all the material it's really really nice that uh, here we share our experience and also I really really like that when guys share the experience so see you in the next videos and from me my dear friends bye bye